the guy who's bringing the shop up this road. Here we go. This is our street. So generally speaking, he said 400 bucks to move the move the shop versus five grand to buy a new one. That kind of a no-brainer. That was bare bones. Yeah. Um, I've already insulated mostly sided the interior and uh, got the power run everywhere. So they know that. I told them already. Oh, okay. This so is, we're sure. leaving our, our, no, we're leaving our property. These people have a, have chickens and they have a dog that chases you. No address is shown. These people up here, they have a little house and they have a, they have a Corvette. Can you imagine driving a Corvette dock on this road? They have a red Corvette. They got lots of other fun toys, but they got a red car too. And then this is the little cow area of this farm here. And they have horses and it's some sort of, I'm not going to say it. It's, um, I don't know what it's called. Anyway, and they do, they train horses to handle cows and perform and stuff. And then there's this little house over here that obviously had the children. And you can go that way or you can go this way. And today we're going this way because we're going you, to the old house. If you go the other way, it goes into town. The new town. New town? <laughs> the new. <laughs> it's not new. Um, it, 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 Lexington is where the Walmart is, so. It's the closest town to us now. It's, yeah, and it was the closest, bigger, actually, hey, let's call it a out. city. Can you see that house over there? The tires, probably not, but the do. We had a really big, big storm with a bunch of wind, and um, I kept hearing this noise, and I couldn't figure out what it was. And then I finally realized that part of the roof was coming off. <laughs> it's a metal roof. So, yeah, Carrie was talking about that earlier. But anyway, there, that house over there had tires on their roof, too. That's a cool house with a flag there. Um, so they had tires on their roof to hold their roof on. So, but we have still some um, tinkering to do with that roof to uh, keep it on in the wind since we're up on a hill. I guess we'll have to pursue a, a contractor to do that, which everybody's going to be slamming busy after this last storm. Stop! This is Highway 104. We are going west. No one's coming. This is the road that, oh gosh, what day, it, I don't know what day it was. Um, we were headed over to the property and there were two cows, calves actually, just walking up the side of the road. It's crazy. Anyway, so yeah. Da -da 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 -da. And I think that this is the last turn. There's a couple more turns. A couple more turns. It's a couple more turns, but I'm not going to bore you with that. You can kind of tell that it's a, a nice ride. And we're in the middle of nowhere. And we, we are not going to be um, disturbing no nobody. for a station break so we have arrived so this morning is a last minute prep I cleared the seat I was taking down the lights from the shop so back in but he's not sure if he's gonna need these tools so I'm gonna just stick them back in the truck we've got the lights in the back of the truck doesn't need the ladder anymore, so he's got that back in the back of the truck. So when our guy gets here to get the barn, we are keeping things loaded up. So I have, look at all this lovely compost. I just, oh, it makes me cry. This is all filled with garden soil. That's going to go, if not today, another day. And we got all these piles back here. We've got a trash pile. We've got more tins, the roof and the lean-to, the wheelbarrow still has got to go, all this fencing and gutters over here, yep, burrs. So tell the kind folks what you're doing. So this 30 amp breaker here goes to the shop. 
we're taking the shop. In fact, the dude's on his way. So I have to disconnect that. You can see the PVC pipe sticking out below. I turn that off, pull the wires through. Yep, ours. And, and we pulled the post out and we made a hole. So I guess that I am going to get off of here and fill the hole. GoPro, stop recording. Hey, so, um, hopping another puffin. So he got the electrical disconnected and the tiny's plugged back in and the wires hung on to the barn and now all right hard to tell from here um wow. we lost the juice on the gopro there it was. <laughs> so he's uh taking off with it um, i actually can't get out the driveway to get ahead of him i will definitely be passing him i'm sure of that anyway nice young man <laughs> that trailer is absolutely intense it's got a wheel in the middle that turns sideways so he can push the wheel down and drive the trailer the direction he needs the trailer to go when he's setting up. So, as you can see, that's where it was. And there's the side of the chicken coop that we're not taking with us. Um, not sure what we're going to do with it at this point. It's just going to sit there. Um, we are going to take the fence off. Okay. Yes, my dear. We can. I think it's strong enough to survive. Me too. It's my Christmas tree. So we um got the shed hooked on two fence posts. They weren't there when he put it in. Um, so the swing didn't catch, but he's actually the same guy that dropped it off a couple years ago. So he knew right where it was and, um, amazing. And, um, I've got to tell you, I fully enjoyed our three and a half years here at the tiny Monarch. Um, we have lots of stuff left to come and collect and get out of the way. Um, pile of rubbish stuff. Um, moving and working full time is um, in what and, and rain kind of been a pain in the neck. Uh, so most of the fence down here and the gutters are coming. We'll use them. Um, most of that pile over there by the lawnmower, which doesn't work. Um, is uh, most of it, I say most of it, is scrap. The cattle panels are coming. Um, on the far side of that's the ramp for the um, shed that I'm not sure I'm going to need. But anyway, all right, looks like he's ready to go. So it looks like I need to get the uh, truck turned around and um, catch up with you when we get to the other house. We made it with the barn and they are evaluating the situation to see what the best route will be. And I have the tractor keys and I'm gonna ask Carrie where he wants me to go. No, we missed the beginning. No one's paying attention. He's using his mule to get the barn down. And then he's going to use, I'm sure, going to guess, the mule to uh, move it around where we want it. So he's got a um, um, set of wheels that's going to go on the front. It's just the coolest trailer. Hydraulics every which way you can imagine. Oh, 
Looks like I'm gonna have to go up on the roof of the barn. Not sure if you can see it, but the top left hand corner of the barn uh, looks like uh, some of the uh, repair from before is coming undone. But, um, that'll be for another day. I think I have a can of pitch that I can climb up there and just slather all over it. Backside. The neighbor down the hill doesn't seem to need to be too worried about what's going on. He hasn't even stuck his head out. The neighbor up the hill is washing off of his deck. Get talky mushrooms. Squeak, 
Squeak Creek. Yeah, that satellite dish isn't hooked up, so if you hit it, I don't care. Hello. So that was fun, right? Watching that. So now I'm cooking. So I'm prepping for our dinner. Our crock pot chicken. There goes Carrie. I came to find my coffee cup. Here he's trying to find his coffee it's, cup. It's, it's almost as important to me as Sandy. Yeah, and, and this but is a dually thing, right? Because I've got the stuff for dinner sitting here. And then I've got, I'm starting the grill over there for hot dogs. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm double dutying it. It's, it's twice the fun. So yeah. And we are not going back to the other property today to finish up getting the odds and ends that have been left behind and all the trash. We're going to do that Sunday after church. And today, after lunch, and after the um, gentleman that's leveling the barn is done, then we will be determining whether the washer that we bought from the lady is El Pupud or what and we will be um, evaluating the roof that is still coming off on the front corner on both front corners actually and then we will be evaluating the uh, bathtub leak to see if we can fix that ourselves because I'm not paying someone over $45 just to come out and say I can't do the job and not be prepared to do the job so that's not happening and let's see and then we have to take care of this number up here and frame that out before all the little birdies name claim it as home um let me think that's not enough to finish i mean it's going to be noon shouldn't we have a few more things to do we're not on time I mean, come on what are we slacking yeah i don't think so Okay, I'm in the kitchen now. I have four cups of, actually I got sage stuffing. It's turkey stuffing, but that's what was on sale, so that's what I got. Why, I don't know, they must think it's Thanksgiving or something. So I'm just gonna add the sauteed vegetables to it. Two and a half cups of the stuffing was left and Carrie said hey you're supposed to take that and put that on the bottom of the crock pot and I said no, beats me but okay so I don't rightly know where my glasses are right now so um, I'm gonna be squinting here a bit all right so we are tossing tossing this I'm going to spoon it. Okay. Then I'm going to put two tablespoons of parsley. This actually is my homegrown parsley from last season that I'm going to use. And that's in here. Two tablespoons. Come on out of there, you. Looks about right to me. There's that. And since it is sage, I'm not going to go ahead and put more sage in it because um, I just, that's a bit much for me. Um, pepper and the stock. Which is not melted, but you know, it, it's from our our chicken. So, oh, pepper is in here, and the clickety clop sound you're hearing are my dogs walking in the kitchen where they're not supposed to be. Get out! 
Get out. Go. Go. They're still getting used to things just like the chickens. They don't know where they're allowed to be and not allowed to be. Stay. I'm being surrounded. One of them coming at me from one side and one from the other. Stay. Yikes. My battery's about to die, so I better hurry up. Okay, so I'm going to stir in this pepper, and then I'm going to stir in the stock. I believe that's what it says. Da, 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 da. I can't see because I'm blind. Uh, da, 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 broth. Um, stir until the stuffing is moistened. Loosely stuff the chicken with the dressing. It, and um, we are going to uh, put... We're going to uh, spray the bottom of the crock pot and then we're going to put the rest of the stuffing that's in there on the bottom of that. Then we're going to put the chicken on top of it and we are going to cook it for eight to 10 hours. We'll get back to you on the battery's charge and the chicken's done. So Sandy's stuffing the chicken and getting dinner going. I am um, doing the slow roll with the hot dogs on the grill. I like to do them over a fire. That'd be nice one of these days. Finally get around to putting them in the fire pit. So the art is to get crisscrossing grill marks. I'm not sure I'm going to manage it today. Didn't do a whole large batch of coals, so I have to kind of keep them tight. Oh my. Yes. Hi, Sandy. Oh my. This is fresh from the crock pot. Traditional oh stuffed chicken. Stuffed. So, um, and now we about to get stuffed. I, I, I guess you get to see me trying hard, but make a mess. Well, the wing already fell off of it, so there you go. <laughs> Washing machine's thundering in the background. Not as crispy as um, I like this. But that's start with the string. Yes. Dust your feet, dust your feet. Go lay down right now. Both of you. Go. Tick. Go. I'm going to sneak a bite. And mm. off the bone. Mm, that's really good. Let me see this now. <laughs> Sorry. Am I on your way? Oh, he, lo he, knows. he loves me. He knows I love brass. I take the leg water and the wing. I snapped the wing because it fell. There out. you are, ladies and gentlemen. Mmm. That's pretty good. That's that mm. that's well. <laughs> that's pretty good. Thanks for joining us. Y'all welcome to come join us for dinner. <laughs> right. Going Monarch Home said, bye.